Hi, welcome to the Magic of Math, where we master math one video at a time. Today, my lesson is on slope-intercept form. Our objectives today are that you will identify the slope and the y-intercept of graphs of linear equations, and that you will graph linear equations using the y-intercept and the slope. Here's my question for you. As we go through the lesson today, I want you thinking about what is true about the y-intercept of any linear equation. Here we go, slope-intercept form. A linear equation written in the form below is in slope-intercept form. So we call it y equals mx plus b. This is slope-intercept form, where m is the variable that represents the slope of the line, and b is the variable that represents the y-intercept of the line. X and Y remain an ordered pair, a specific input mapped to a specific output that represents a solution or a point on the line. So remember, a line is an infinite amount of points all connected together, and every X and Y ordered pair on the line is a solution of the line, which can be obtained by putting any X value in for X evaluating and solving for the value that corresponds to y, making an ordered pair, which is a solution to the linear equation. Now let's use and understand slope-intercept form. We've learned now that the variable m represents the slope of the line. It's always found when the equation is y equals, or solved for y, the coefficient of x is the slope of your line. The slope of our line, let's review, represented by the variable m is equal to rise over run. So most likely when you first learned about slope, you learned to rise and run from one point to the other to calculate the ratio of slope. We also refer to this as our change in y. So our rise is our change in our y coordinates from one point to the other because we're changing distance on the y axis all over, the ratio is over x, the change in the x, our horizontal distance. So vertical distance, horizontal distance between the two points, and it forms the ratio. Or we can use the ordered pairs and take one ordered pair and the second ordered pair, subtract the y coordinates in the numerator, subtract the x coordinates in the denominator, and get your slope. Now let's understand the y-intercept. The variable b represents the y-intercept right here. So our y-intercept is always an ordered pair, 0, b. So 0 because it's always going to lie on the y-axis. And any point that lies or falls on the y-axis is going to have an x-coordinate of 0. b represents the y-coordinate of the y-intercept. So here's what all y-intercepts have in common they all have an x-coordinate of 0. So anytime you see an ordered pair with an x-coordinate of 0, you know that that point is going to fall on the y-axis, and if it's a point on the line, it's the y-intercept. So the y-intercept of a line is the y-coordinate of the point where the line crosses the y-axis. So in this case, our y-intercept is negative 2. Now, let's identify slope and y-intercept from this given linear equation. We notice that it is solved for y, so it's y equals, so we know it's in slope-intercept form. The coefficient of x is our m, or our slope. So our slope here is 4 thirds. What follows the x, including the sign, the sign that comes before this constant, represents the sign of the y-intercept. So here the sign is negative 2, and our y-intercept is negative 2. So remember, it's the value and the sign that comes before the value. So slope is a ratio of our rise over our run, and y-intercept is a constant representing the y-coordinate of the point of the line that crosses the y-axis. Now it's your turn. I would like you to pause the video here, identify the slope and the y-intercept of the line, and come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. So 
Again, it's solved for y, and it has our mx plus b. So our slope is the coefficient of x, which is 7, and our y-intercept, or our b, is positive 2 thirds. So this line crosses the y-axis at 2 thirds and has a slope of 7. Try this one. Please pause the video now, identify the slope and the y-intercept, and come back and hit play when you're ready. Welcome back. So once again, this equation is solved for y, so I can say that it is in slope-intercept form. Our coefficient of x is m, our slope, which is negative one-half, and our constant, or our b, is negative five. Now we can also use slope-intercept form to graph a line. Here are the simple steps to solving, um, graphing an equation written in slope-intercept form. So graph using the slope and the y-intercept. So once we identify the slope and the y-intercept of the line, we are going to step two, plot the y-intercept. Step three, we're going to use the slope to rise and run from the y-intercept and plot a point at this location. And then step four, using a ruler, if you're on paper, you're going to connect the points to form the line. Let's put this into action. We are going to graph this linear equation that is written in slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. So we know it's solved for y. So the first thing, step one, is to identify the slope and the y-intercept. So my slope is 4, and my y-intercept is positive 1. Step two, I'm going to plot the y-intercept. Remember, this is an ordered pair that this is the y-coordinate of the point, and the x-coordinate is always 0. So we're going to plot a point at 0, 1. Step three, we're going to use our slope to rise and run from the y-intercept and plot a point at that location. So again, our slope is 4, which is 4 over 1. Remember, any whole number can have a denominator of 1, so our ratio rise over run is 4 to 1. So we're going to go to our y-intercept. We're going to rise 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Then we're going to run 1. Then we're going to put our point, and step four, we're going to use a ruler, which we're on a graph here. We're going to use just our technology and connect our points. There's our line, y equals 4x plus 1, y-intercept of 1, and a slope of 4. Your turn. I would like you to pause the video here, graph the line, and come back and hit play when you're ready. Welcome back. So step one, we're going to look first to make sure it's solved for y. y equals mx plus b. And step one is to identify our slope and y-intercept. Our slope is 2 thirds, and our y-intercept is negative 3. Step two, we're going to plot our y-intercept, remembering that this is the y-coordinate of our point, and the x-coordinate of the y-intercept is always 0. So 0, negative 3. Step three, we're going to use our slope to rise and run from the y-intercept and plot a point. So our slope is rise 2, run 3. So we're going to rise 2, run 3, and plot our point. Step four, we're going to connect our points. And there you have it. That is the line y equals 2 thirds x minus 3. Your turn. I'd like you to graph this line, come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. So we're going to identify the y-intercept first. We're going to plot a point at the y-intercept. We're going to use our slope to rise and run. So our slope is negative, so I'm going to use that in my rise. The negative sign either has to go with your rise or your run. So negative 3, I'm going to rise negative 3, which means I'm going down 1, 2, 3 and then I'm going to run positive 2. And there we plot our point and connect it. So if our slope is negative, remember it's falling left to right. So it crosses the y-axis at 4, and it has a slope of negative 3 halves. So there you have it. That is how you understand and interpret slope-intercept form, identifying your slope and your y-intercept, and how to use it to graph the line. 
I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll come back soon and have a great day.